We have a lot of fun with art on this channel. I don't intend to take it too seriously. I guess you could say my approach is pretty lighthearted, but today I'm going to swap that for a bit of darkness and attempted drama. It's still going to be fun though. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and oh my god, look at the dinosaur! Ah! Ah! Okay, my finger puppets aren't very good, but I do have a dinosaur. Rawr. So today, the plan is to take uh, random objects and to, well, I mean, I say random, but really, I've just <laughs> raided my son's toy box and my toy box. I have a few strange sort of grown-up souvenirs and trinkets from my shelves. But to take these strange ornaments and to position them on a page and to trace around the silhouette that is cast from the dramatic shadow we have happening here and turn it into an illustration. Now, just to demonstrate, let's uh, do this quickly with our little T-Rex buddy here. We have... Uh, a little thing there. So there's my rough silhouette drawn. I'm going to take this dude away and I'm going to say rule wise the point of contact with the objects on the paper. So let's say if there's like feet touching it or a big base or something that doesn't have to be included as part of the silhouette. It's anything that is clearly cast from those shapes and then the rest we can sort of fill in as we please. But it means we could turn that dinosaur into uh, say, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't actually thought this through. Let's just go with like some sort of derpy dude. There you go, he's a, he's a pretty swell looking guy. These are his little hands, let's give him little fingers. Oh, look at my hand! <laughs> look at this! I don't quite know what's happening here. He's just got a, a cushy butt and uh, I guess this is room for his other leg to sort of pop. Oh my god, it's beautiful! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have so much fun today. I like to dance and prance and bounce about! <laughs> Okay, sorry, I had a bit too much fun with that. But you get the point, that is the idea, but with the T-Rex, I had the silhouette and positioned it and carefully did the shape thing. I think it might be more fun if I build strange contraption constructions out of all these objects and things, then switch to silhouette and trace. So I can't actually plan any shapes or carefully construct my silhouettes. So let's jump straight into it and uh, I guess uh, let's, let's start off simple. I've got a cow. I'll use some blue tack. This will help position things. And of course we're gonna have a little Santa doll positioned on the cow's back as you do. I've got lots of uh, animal things happening there, but maybe I should go with something a little more symmetrical and office -y. Scissors could be good. So I'm just gonna lean these scissors up like that. And this is a pencil sharpener. That'll do. You ready? Let's get our first silhouette. And... So again, not drawing the point of contact or the, the base, just where the silhouette comes out from our lovely light over there. The only way to draw in here is with my left hand because I can't reach with my right. That's a bad idea. Maybe I should just reposition my whole body. <laughs> and we're done. That is my, this is my shape drawn down. It's definitely unique. So the thing is, I naturally go to like faces and bodies. I guess just because that's what I draw for fun in my spare time. I feel like I need to open my mind to other things it could be. What do you see when you look at, at this? I see like a mouth and eye here, but I don't know how it could work into whatever this is, unless it's like hair and an ear. I feel like this could be an eyebrow and I could have like some sort of demonic eye, and this could be some sort of a demonic character. I just, no, nah, I can't make that work. I feel like it wouldn't be anything decent. God, this is tricky. I, feel, <laughs> I said I'd start simple with that. I, I did a hard one. Nah, I need a warm up. I need practice. I'm putting this aside. I'm gonna end on this thing and own it, but I need to ease into it. <laughs> How does one ease into it? Here's an elephant and here's a highlighter. Surely this is gonna be a simple silhouette. You ready? See, this looks more approachable. Look at this simple little silhouette. All right, elephant, your burden is no longer needed to be carried. I will now carry the burden. Oh my God, that still looks complicated. This was a dumb idea for a video. I will earn your respect. I will, I can do this. I've done harder things before. That's what you- Oh, oh, hey, 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 guess what I see? I see a surfer. See this? Nice long surfboard. Now that's a leg of some description. I don't know, I'll turn it into a leg somehow. And uh, I guess this could also be like the leg the other leg. He's got his arms up in the air like he just don't care. Don't know what this here is. If you draw the edge of the body here, we could turn it into like a, a backpack. I don't know if the, 
the waves are going in the right direction. Oh, hey, look at this. This bit here can be like the wave curling over. Hey, look at this. Yeah. This is, this, this is definitely what surfing looks like. This can be some sort of building, a lighthouse. Ah, ah, someone's getting fancy. I feel like all of the characters I draw are gonna look derpy. Let's give them like a triple chin. There you go. And I don't know, these are fingers. <laughs> what have I just done? He's doing like a kickflip. Do you do that in surfing? That's skateboarding. Did you ever play Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer? Is that what it was called? Yeah. Yeah, it was Kelly Slater's Pro Server. It was like Tony Hawk skateboarding, just less popular. There's the lighthouse off in the distance. And the, the well, I don't know what happens on all that. There's, you get the idea. Yeah, nailed it. All right, we're warming up effectively. It's time to move on. I will not admit defeat. I will come back to that first one and we will own it. Let's up the ante a bit. This is my, uh, my knight on horseback. I actually got this from a random trinket shop in York. Let's face him towards the direction the shadows are gonna go so that we don't see too much of a clear silhouette. And I feel like that's lots of like finer details. So let's add something chunky. Here we go. A, uh, a race car. Hit the lights. That's everything cast. So let's see what we've got to work with. What have we here? This was easier in my head. This whole concept seemed like a great idea before I started doing it. It's harder than it looks. I guess it's like the scribble challenge, but sort of, I don't know, it feels harsher. I feel like I need to just explore, like maybe using the negative of the shape rather than assuming it's just a closed off object. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I see, I see a snobby gentleman. I see a snobby gentleman with unimpressed eyes and sort of a sneer. You can see the, the, the teeth here. Ah, that's something. You just gotta find a way to sort of take up a bulk of the image and then figure out what the hell is going on in the rest of it. There you go, we got a nice long turtly neck here. What's this gentleman doing? Well, uh, let me tell you. <laughs> He's, um, the glass of wine he's holding, he has spilt on someone out of anger. See, that's what that, that is. It's like, ooh, well, I'm gonna splash you with my wine. And this up here, uh, th this is... <sighs> that's like a butcher's cleaver. <laughs> like, firmly thrust into his head. I like how unimpressed he looks. He's like, oh, you put a cleaver in my head. I'm so terribly annoyed. And I sound like Stewie Griffin for some reason. There you go. There you go. We've got a butcher's cleave. <laughs> it's awful. Not pictured in this image is his opponent, who is probably a chef. So it's likely that this gentleman went to a restaurant and complained about the food, perhaps in an extremely rude way, because he doesn't seem like a very polite fellow. In fact, Let's make him look like extra seedy and just give him one of these really thin mustaches. People who have those are never nice people. I'm sorry if anyone watching this has one of those, but if you do, shave it off. I've offended some people watching this, but they've offended me by having that god-awful mustache. <laughs> Didn't realize I had such strong feelings about facial hair. There you go, fight to the death. It's very one-sided though, because he's got a cleaver to the head and he's throwing red wine on someone. <laughs> I can even throw in some action lines. Oh, look at this, the ax just went, and he's like, oh, that's, that's very unkind of you, sir. How dare you? Yeah, nailed it. All right, I'm feeling a little more confident now. I'm going to use one of these. <laughs> Don't you love how many kids toys I have and use in video? <laughs> Probably going to have more soon because I'm having a little baby girl in the next couple of weeks. Yay to no more sleep. Not that I've been getting much with a three-year-old toddler. <laughs> and I have Rabid Peach from the, uh, the... Mario Rabbids game that uh, Ubisoft did. I did a sponsored video with them a while back and they sent me this lovely toy. I feel like these lines in the middle there, they're gonna torch me. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay, let's uh, outline some shadows. That's as good as I can do. That is everything I can reach in this shadow being cast. This is what we have to work with. Let's see what it looks like if we flip it around a bit. I see something. I see something here. I see like a grandpa just drool down his chin and is like being machine fed stuff. It's 
bit depressing, but you know, there it is. He's, he's not the most pleasant looking of gents, unlike our previous gent. And I guess this back here, this would be a pillow. And then all of this up here must just be like apparatuses. Apparati? Apparatuses? I feel like he's got a hat. This is like a modern hospital where his healthcare treatment is attached to his head and it's just like a real miracle of modern medicine that his self-feeding tubes and breathing apparatus... God, there's that word again! They're all attached to him. Let's make this super depressing and just add like more cords and weird pipes. I don't know what the hell these are. What what are they? They look like gullet things. Like the things a chicken has that go I don't think they actually go blah 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 but but you know the hangy things. I don't think he has those though. Wait, wait, let's get super depressing. It's his hand. He's reaching his hand off to the heavens begging for death <laughs> wow this is dark oh god here are the feeding tubes here is the helmet strap here are his dying eyes here are his clawing hands begging for death to soon begin <laughs> ah. We're all gonna die someday. Why did this get so dark? Wait, wait, wait. Now it's dark. <laughs> A little bit of humor to top that existential crisis I'm going through. <clears throat> Let's continue out drawing from wacky shadows. Wow, what even happened just now? All right, here, <laughs> here he is, the man on his deathbed, begging for death. That got really dark really quickly. I'm sorry about that. Let's try and end on something super, super positive. To, to, uh, turn the mood around. This has got depressing. I gotta fit in any song I can. Whatever distraction we can take. <laughs> All right, now, this is the one that I did earlier on that I couldn't figure out a picture for. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna time lapse this one. I'm gonna take my time. And I'm gonna make it look as good as I can in whatever way that I can. And I don't know what it'll be. Bet it'll be upbeat for once, because, <laughs> Heaven knows we needed rescuing from whatever the hell I dragged us into a moment ago. So here it is, this is the result of my taking a little bit of time to make it look complete. I feel like the result is pretty, I mean, it speaks for itself. <laughs> this is my derpy animal catcher who's caught a derpy animal, uh, derpiness is, is always fun and as it turns out, very complimentary to turning random shapes and silhouettes into something. He's got his little bag of random catchy things and a great big long pole with a net on it. And this creature is some sort of mix of random things. I, d I don't know. It's uh, I invented it for this thing. It's pretty majestic though. I'm sure you'll agree. I hope you guys have enjoyed the way that my silhouette art challenge has come about. This, uh, as it turns out, though it was the most difficult, is the one I'm most proud of. Now as usual of course if you liked this video make sure to hit that like button and if you have any ideas for things that you think could trip me up or maybe might be too difficult for me to create art out of leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. If you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button for more fun and shenanigans with art challenges and epic pieces whatever it is it's art and animation related it's shenanigans or ambitious whatever it is it's lighthearted and fun and occasionally just a little bit dark. See what it did it because because it's dark <sighs> it's also very cringy and if you like that sort of thing you'll enjoy it here thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen and until next time i'll see you later make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and while you're at it check out my shop where i sell ebooks brushes photo references video courses and more there's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.